Here our public void print method. The comment says it prints the contents of the tree in sorted order, okay? Meaning in the case of the tree we've been looking at here, um, or rather in the case of this tree back to here, sorted order would mean like alphabetical order, technically lexicographic order, right? So we would print Adam and then Eve and then Harry and then Juliet and then Romeo and then Tom. Remember this binary search tree class we're writing, it's like a tree set. And remember the reason why we might use a tree set is because the iterator lets us traverse the set in sorted order. So this print is kind of like the iterator for a tree set, okay? Um, this is also another opportunity for us to use one of these static recursive helper methods. So our print, we can't recurse here because there's no parameter to use. So that's why we have this private static print method that takes a node as a parameter. This private method prints the node and all of its descendants in sorted order. So this is where we'll actually do our recursion. Here in the print, we'll simply make the call to kick it all off. So we're just gonna say print this.root, okay? Starting at the root, print the root and all of its descendants in sorted order. When we're done, print a blank line, just so like it's formatted nicely. Now we can focus on our recursive method. So we always need our terminating condition. What is the simplest tree to print? Well, it's the tree that's empty. If parent is null, just return, we're done. We don't have to print anything if it's an empty tree. If we wanna print in sorted order from whatever node we're at, this parent node, we know that every node in the left subtree has to be printed first, okay? We don't care how that's done. We're just gonna defer that to the left subtree to do. So we're just gonna say print parent.left. Okay. Print the entire left subtree, get all those nodes printed. Once the entire left subtree has been printed, the next thing to be printed is the node we're at. It is the parent. So we'll print the parent. We'll try to print the parent. Parent.data. I'm gonna add a space in here so like not everything gets run together. After we print the parent nodes data, we know that everything in the right subtree must come after it. So let's recursively print the right subtree. And that's all it takes to print the tree in sorted order. It's not too bad. Oh, totally random note. So I was getting frustrated yesterday. Um, I've been frustrated for a while, but extra frustrated yesterday because I committed the changes, or two days ago, I committed the changes from class, but I hadn't saved the file in VS Code yet. And so I was lamenting like, why doesn't VS Code have an autosave feature um, after school. Cause then I had to do like another commit and I was just, it was frustrating um, and it does. So it was pointed out to me that um, autosave is an option in the file menu and you can just like turn it on. I really wish I knew that for like the last, I don't know, like three years, but that's okay. Hey, I learned it now. So, so feel free to turn that on if you want. Um, So that's what's called, this is to print um, in sorted order. We have a special name for this. We call this an in order traversal. We traverse the tree in sorted order. So we call it in order traversal. Meaning first we print Adam, then Eve, then Harry, then Juliet, then Romeo, then Todd. Okay. Just like we would iterate through a tree set. 